Today I'm going to share with you one of the easiest ways to turn your photos to beautiful cartoons or caricatures using Photoshop and also some other amazing applications. The first thing you do is press Ctrl or Command J with the background layer selected. This makes a duplicate. Now let's go to filter and then convert for smart filters. Hit OK so that we can change the values of filters later. Let's go to filter and then liquify now inside of liquify using three major tools the forward warp tool the bloat tool and the pucker tool just exaggerate the features of the subject so the forward warp tool can be used for moving things around just like making the hair taller you can use the pucker tool to make things smaller let's say you want to make the eyes a little smaller you can do that with the pucker tool and the bloat tool is for making things larger let's say you want to make the lips a little larger just click on that area or paint continuously for a much intense effect. Now you can control the intensity, size and other parameters of the brush using these four sliders. And also if you scroll down, there is a reset button. So I'm just going to restore all, which is reset. Now let's just accentuate the features that make this portrait unique. Once you're satisfied, just hit OK. Now let us export this image as a JPEG by going to File, Export and then Export As. You can also use Save As. Choose Save As Type as JPEG and let's name this liquefied and click on save. Quality 12 maximum. Now we're going to use the Remini mobile application to process this image as a painting. Now if you're wondering what am I running right here in my computer, I'm running this software called Bluestacks. It allows me to run Android applications on my computer. Isn't that pretty cool? If you don't want to do this or for some reason you're having trouble working with it, you can always send the photo to your phone. Just open the image in the Remini application. First of all, let us load up our image here by simply going to Media Manager and click on Import from Windows and we'll locate the liquefied image. Click on that and click on Open. Now we have this image loaded in Bluestacks. Let's go to Home and then Remini. Now in here, click on More and there you will find Paint. Choose your liquefied image and click on the tick right here. Now I'm running a free version, so an ad will show up. <laughs> Let me skip that. So as you can see, our cartoon is ready. Let's take a look at the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. Pretty cool, isn't it? Again, this is zoomed in version before, after. Pretty darn amazing. Now there are still some adjustments we need to make here. So let's open this back up in Photoshop. To do that, first of all, let's click on the full image and save it by clicking on this button right there. And it is saved. Now we need to go to Home and open up Media Manager again. And here you will find inside the recently added section, this photo right here. Now this is the photo which we need to send to Windows. So click on Send to Windows and locate where you want to save it and click on Select Folder. Now this is the painting file. Let's open this back up inside of Photoshop. Pretty darn amazing, isn't it? Now you can go ahead and remove some lines from here. I don't like this particular line. So let's go to the patch tool and you can just remove whatever you want. And by the way, this is a painting. You can directly take the brush, maybe take a soft round brush, make it a little smaller and start painting. And by the way, let's decrease the flow to about 10%. Let's take a sample from here, paint right here. There we go, fixed. Let me remove this line, these lines as well, a little bit of this line, and there you have a very interesting cartoon. Now the background needs to be cleaner. How do we achieve that? Let's create a brand new background. So with a quick selection tool selected at the top, with the later versions of Photoshop, you would see Select Subject. Let's click on that. It does a pretty great job. You can also use the quick selection tool, whatever you want to use to select the subject. Now click on the mask button. Now it's masked out. Now for the background, let's simply create a brand new layer. And to create a layer at the bottom of the selected layer, just hold the control or command and then click on the new layer button. This creates a layer under it. Hold the shift key, click on the mask to turn off the mask momentarily. And we need to sample these colors. So select the gradient tool. And we want this radial gradient. Make sure that one is selected. Single click on this gradient. For the right hand side, we want to sample the bright background color. Double click on that and sample a bright background color. Hit OK. And for the left hand side, double click on that and sample this dark color right here. Make sure sample all layers is selected. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And let's draw a gradient from the center to the edge. Now this is the opposite of what we wanted because if you turn off the mask, you would notice opposite of what we wanted. So click on reverse or you can also reverse the colors. So let's do that again 
and there you have a wonderful mask you cannot see it right now because the mask is turned off hold the shift key click on the mask and now have a look at so much more cleaner you can do a couple more trials. There you have it, it's looking much better. Now to create a beautiful shadow for the subject, double click on the right hand side of the subject layer, check, drop shadow, select that. Now you can control the angle of the shadow from right here, but I would recommend that you directly move it just like this over the image. This angle looks right to me at about 31, 32 looks okay. And then to get the original color, first of all, hit okay, turn off the effects and also turn off the mask by holding the shift key and clicking on the mask button. Turn on the effects, double click on the drop shadow back again, and this time single click on the color and choose the darkest color right here. Hit OK, make sure the blend mode is normal, not multiply, normal, and now hit OK. Now turn on the mask and have a look. We have the original shadow color. Now if you want to make it softer, you can also do that. If this is the style you're going for, you can leave it at that. It's up to you. I'm just going to double click on the drop shadow and make it a little more softer. Let's take it all the way to the right hand side. Once you're happy with everything, hit OK. You can also remove these unnecessary blobs at the top of the hair by selecting the mask. Take the brush and with black as the foreground color, make sure flow is at 100. Paint this area with black. Just completely erase that. We don't need it. Now the resolution of this image is a little less. We need to increase it. How do we do that? First of all, let's export this image again by going to File, Save As. Let's save it as a JPEG. Select JPEG from the dropdown and let's choose Cartoon, Save. Okay. Now to increase the resolution, you can use a website called letsenhance.io or Image Larger or any AI image upscaling software or online platform. Let's click on Try for free. And we're going to drag and drop the cartoon image right here. Now in the upscale type, choose digital art because that's what it is. 4x resolution increase is fine. Click on start processing. Let us download it and open it back in Photoshop. Back in Photoshop, have a look at it. So much higher resolution than the previous image. Have a look at this one. It just starts to pixelate, but this one is of a higher resolution. Now if you want to add a little more oomph to it, this is what you do. Press Ctrl or Command J with the background layer selected. Let's go to Filter and then Convert for Smart Filters. Hit OK. Then go to Filter again, Sharpen and Smart Sharpen. Increase the amount all the way to 500%. Slowly and gradually increase the radius and just at the point where you begin to see halos, stop. Make sure Preview is checked. So I'm going to stop at 4 and hit OK. Now let's zoom in. Now this is of course too much for some of the areas for the edges. It's just too much. So hold the Alt key or the Option key and click on the Mask button. We don't want it all over the image. Take the brush, white as the foreground color with a lower flow like 10%. Slowly and gradually paint it over the areas where you want to add a little bit of sharpness. There you have it. So cool, isn't it, my friend? And this is how you can easily create brilliant caricatures using the combination of Photoshop and Remini. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.